having no idea how to share a report or a dashboard to a client or customer getting confused in what way can the dashboard be shared with the client or customer and have you ever faced a situation where you have an intention to learn power bi but could not able to sign up without an office address without an official email id without a work email how to do that hi i am m asif hussain from new hub academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand how to share the power bi dashboard link with your client or customer how to sign up for power bi without the work email by the end of this video you could able to learn and understand what are the different ways the dashboard can be shared with the end user and even we are going to learn how to sign up for power bi without the work email but in a different way so let's watch it signing up for a power bi without the work email so let me give you a general condition that power bi will not accept yahoo.com hotmail.com gmail.com redifmail.com no it accepts only the work email but there are many such enthusiasts still today they would like to learn power bi end to end but they are getting a trouble in order to sign up with the work email when they do not have it so what is the best possible solution for this kind of problem so for this i would like to guide you over one easy step let's go and create a microsoft 365 uh, you know business basic account and let's try it for free for one month so when we come into this particular microsoft 365 you know business basic we have try free for one month okay i'll click on this try free for one month so as soon as i click on this try free for one month it will ask us lot of uh personal informations you know some account credentials email id password mobile number country state so it will ask all these details and at last it will ask us for the payment information so we need to give the payment information that's for sure okay and we need to select for it's for one month alone or if you would like to extend you can extend it but the cost of this business basic is 150 45 145 rupees per month okay so if you would like to cancel the subscription of this microsoft 365 business basic after this one month free trial we can obviously go and cancel it but if you would like to continue after one month free trial version from the next immediate month we need to pay this 145 rupees which will be automatically deducted from the payment informations that we have given while we are creating an account So now once when we give this payment information yeah there are two options if you would like to continue from the immediate next month the 145 rupees per month will be deducted from the payment information that we have given though it is a debit card or a credit card then the next uh, the other step is that if you would like to cancel the subscription after one month of free trial we can cancel it but my dear viewers while you are creating this microsoft 365 business account so microsoft it will ask us for a domain name so domain name will be from microsoft itself it will be at on microsoft.com but the name before at the rate symbol so whatever you would like to give it by your name or any name just we need to give the name and we have to use the complete domain name for example if i am creating this microsoft 365 account i'll go with uh, asif hussain at on microsoft.com or on dot microsoft.com so whatever might be the domain name that will be from microsoft itself so what we have to do is that if you do not have the work email then we can create this microsoft 365 business account with the microsoft domain name which is giving it to us and that domain name and password that we have to remember and we have to use it into our power bi so that we can log in into power bi and use all the uh, you know, features of power bi license if you are taking premium or pro version so these are the steps that we have to consider to create a microsoft 365 business account if you would like to log in into power bi without having a work email so let's learn the next step here i have a particular report which is a sandwich sales report as you can see that this report is having two pages now the last step 
that any power bi project consists of is that we have to share with our end user now the end user might be the the client the customer whoever they might be so we have to share it now there are three different ways in which we can share this dashboard with the end user most probably what people does is that they click on a share option here they give the name or the email id with whom we would like to share this particular report and they will click on grant access so this is one way but there is another way that we can create an app the application that we have it in our power bi we can create that app and through that app we can copy the app link and share it to the end user that is the second way so if i would like to talk to you about the application okay so here when we come into our workspace so we have an option called app okay as we have already an app it is asking us to update an app all right so now what i am going to do i am going to update my app so in this app if we see here in the audience we have to select whether you would like to give it to the entire organization or to the any specific user that we would like to then once we or create this app or update this app okay we will get a link i can copy this link i will go to the new tab and i'll paste this link here and when i click on enter i can see that my particular power bi dashboard or app that whatever i have created that i can see it i can see it here all right so this is the second way that we can share this particular report or dashboard with our end users now if i would like to talk about the third way which is just we need to copy the link of the dashboard and through that link we can share it our with our end users now where should we get that link that's a question so my dear viewers there are two ways to get the link here so to get the link i'll click on share and i'll go here in the th these three dots and copy dashboard link so i'm copying this dashboard link i'm coming to the new tab to just verify i'm pasting this dashboard link here and i'm clicking on okay it is asking me to choose my particular account now as you can see that the complete dashboard is visible here all right so this is the step or the three different ways where we can share the dashboard link with our end users so the easiest way that i could tell you is clicking on share giving the access or getting the link from exactly the share option this is the best way to share it with our end users and the second way that i would like to obviously go with is creating an application as how we use whatsapp facebook applications we even have the power bi application so i can share the application link so that the client or customer or whoever the end users are they would happily go and access to this particular power bi dashboard so my dear viewers an interesting concept right so my dear viewers in this video we have learned and understood so how we have to share the dashboard link and what are the different ways to share the power bi dashboard link with the end users along with that we have also learned how to sign up for power bi without the work email by creating microsoft 365 business account so thank you for choosing now have academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning